Hello everybody, it's Bacon Donut here, back with another episode of how to make a Minecraft mod pack. Yes! So, in our last episode, we talked about getting our development environment set up and going. Uh, I showed you multi-MC and how to make different Minecraft instances and get whatever version you want and so forth. And uh, today I'm going to talk about how to actually get mods. So, because in the last episode, I walked you through setting up the environment and installing your very first mod. To demonstrate that, we used a minimap mod. And so the question is, so you've got all that done and you want to get more mods and you want to browse through and see what's out there. And uh, how do you go get them? And how do you know if a site is trustworthy to download them from? That's the sort of thing we're going to talk about today. So some mods, such as... Uh, the team cough stuff right here that we're looking at. This is the website for team. I, I don't know How do you pronounce that C O F H? I don't there's not, not enough vowels in there. I, I always say cough I don't know if that's correct or not. Anyway uh, This is their official website for their mods thermal expansion mine factory reloaded uh, redstone arsenal nether ores and of course all of the core modules that you need to install them. We'll get to that in a later episode, but basically a lot of mods will have, there'll be the file for that mod, but then there's a separate file that has like behind the scenes stuff that it, it's a dependency that you have to install both of them to get them to work. We'll cover that sort of stuff later. Uh, but for now, the point is some mods have their own websites such as this. Another example of that is Applied Energistics, one of my favorite mods, it has its own website. But it's hard to know, like, that doesn't give you a way to, to browse through what all is out there and available. Now, a large amount of mods uh, use a website called Minecraft Forum. This is minecraftforum.net. And uh, for the longest time, this was pretty much the place to get mods. If you were a ModCraft Minecraft mod maker and you wanted uh, your mod to get out there and seen it was pretty standard that you made a post on this forum uh, for your mod and I don't know if I don't know if you could say the majority of mods but a vast amount still use this site and will have a forum post for their mod that includes official download links and that sort of thing so minecraftforum.net is the website click on forum and then scroll down to Minecraft mods right here. And so this is a big, huge list. This is not, I mean, yeah, you can use the search tool, but it's still not a great way to discover new mods if you don't already know what, what you're looking for. But it's worth pointing out because this is an official site and it's pretty much considered trustworthy. The content and the downloads that you can get on here, if it's a popular mod, it's gonna have a lot of views, a lot of hits, that sort of stuff on the forum, and you, you can be pretty assured then that uh, it's the mod is legit. Some people worry about viruses and that sort of thing, and you don't really have to worry about that as long as you're downloading them from reputable places, either the official website for the mod or uh, a well-known website like Minecraft Forum. Here's another place uh, that you can go to get mods. This is Curse. A lot of mod makers are starting to use CurseForge to host their modding projects. And there's a nice website that you can come and this actually gives you a way to search. So the website for this is, this is curse.com slash mc hyphen mods slash Minecraft. Uh, and as you can see here, there's a search box right here, and you can also browse. So if, if you're, you know, you need to decide what version of Minecraft your your mod pack that you're making is gonna be for. The one that we're making is Minecraft 1710. And so right here we can we can sort by game version. So right here is 1710, and there, now it's only showing me mods that are compatible with 1710. And uh, there's, they're also divided up into categories here. So if you want, you know, tech, if you want world generation and biomes and stuff, if you want magic, different food options, adventure and RPG, all these different categories. So you can browse around, find them, and uh, pretty much if you find it, this is another reputable website. The Curse website is is legit, and especially if it's a uh, one, like for example, Railcraft is at the top here. It's got 
1.6 million uh, downloads, you know it's going to be legit if it's got that many downloads. So there you go. So the, the curse website for, for Minecraft mods is a great resource. And the third one that I want to point out, and I use this a lot, the MCF mod list. I don't really know the history of this website, but it, well, I sort of do. Anyway, it started out, there was a forum post back on the Minecraft forum where someone was having this problem of not being able to find mods for a specific version of Minecraft. So they made a forum post here with the, the goal to list all of the ones that had updated to the latest version. Because, you know, a new version of Forge comes out, some mods update to the new Forge, some, some don't. And uh, so they tried to make a list. And the list grew and grew and grew, and they eventually spun it off for, onto its own website. So you can find this at modlist.mcf.li. That's a mouthful. But if you go to Google and just search for list of mods for Minecraft 1710, this is probably going to be the first result. So the beauty of this web website is that its sole job is just to list mods and sort by version, right? So right here, uh, we're looking at 1710, but if, you, if we go, if we click home here, uh, it's got it broken out into the different versions here, right? Um, so 1710, if we go back home, uh, if you wanna see 172 instead, just click on 172 and so forth. So we obviously do want 1.7.10, and um, the, the information that it gives you here is very useful as well. Like the pack that we're making, we're, uh, again, back in episode one, we talked about the loader. We're using Forge as the environment that's taking the mod and loading it up. So we need to find mods that are Forge compatible. Looking in these other places, they might not be Forge mods. And we also, for me personally, my pack needs to be one that's compatible with multiplayer's play. Some mods only work in single player, not on servers. And this will tell you that. Uh, it'll say Forge compatible uh, or Forge required. And some of these, I'm trying to scroll through and find an example. Some of them don't work. Here's one that's not Forge compatible, so that's not going to work for us. Some of them don't work in uh, multiplayer, and if that's the case, then the, one of these flags will tell you that. I'm not seeing an example of it right here. It's less common than it used to be, uh, but, but there you go. And another useful feature is that they're including um, the, uh, the required, uh, whatchamacallit, I mentioned earlier what there'll be a main mod file that you install, but there might be a dependency, a secondary mod that's required for it. Uh, and this lists that as well. So for this particular one, Dimensional World, a fun mod, by the way, Dimensional World, uh, it also requires Aroma 1997 Core. So that tells you that you're, there's going to be at least one additional file that you need to download in order to get that mod to work. And in a future episode, we'll talk more directly about that because next time what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through this list. I'm going to find each mod that I want to put in this mod pack that we're making. I'm going to get them all downloaded and then we'll start actually putting it together. So I hope these resources are useful to you. Sometimes you can find, if you're just Googling, you might end up on websites that might look fishy and I wouldn't trust that stuff. I mean, pretty much. Uh, if it's linked on this MCF mod list, it's, it's, it's pretty much going to be legit. If it's off of Curse Forge or Minecraft Forum, it's probably legit. If it's on some website that you've never heard of, maybe yes, maybe no. What you need to do is find out, you know, the, the, the official location of the mod in question. So, like I said, Applied Energistics has its own website, and you should be able to figure that out just by searching around and, and learning. Sometimes there will be a forum post for the mod and a, a standalone website as well. So, 
So there you go. I hope that helps. I hope this gives you all the info you need to start getting your own mods and putting your pack together. And we're going to have fun next time as we start to put them together and start to see the crashes that happen and how to deal with those all coming up in this series. Thank you for watching. If you like this at all, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bacon underscore donut. When this pack gets done, I'll be streaming it over there. And I'm active over on the the Twitters as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.